The SNES gave composers several amazing things to work with. Sample playback, 8-channel polyphony, built-in delay, but it complicated everything by only having 64 kilobytes of audio memory, which had to be shared with the samples, sound effects, delay buffer, and music driver. You've heard this already, it's in my Sound Capabilities of the SNES video. But I'd like to talk about a funny way that composers dealt with this limited SNES memory. So, hip-hop is a nice and minimal genre, right? You just need breaks, some bass, maybe some chords, loop and variation, and you're done. This is the approach Michael Winogradov took for Rap Jam. The result is phenomenal. The downsampling required to shove a full bar of drums into the SNES resulted in a lo-fi sound that perfectly complements the style. But at what cost? This break took up 21 of the 64 available kilobytes in the SPC 700. All this for barely over two seconds of audio. But then there's Jonathan Dunn, who decided to squeeze down seven seconds of bossa music into a single 32 kilobyte sample, eating half the memory and all of the sound quality. Going to this length for a short elevator tune is a pretty funny gag, admittedly. You can do better, though. This elevator song, for example, could have been broken down further. These piano chords could have been chopped down and repeated. With the drum sequence in channel 2 and the bass line in channel 3. It might lose a bit of humanization, but it'd save a ton of space. Uh, this is actually the approach that uh, Chris Granner and Kev Bruce took for Revolution X. They found every part that loops in the arcade version and cut that down and reassembled it in the SNES version. The result is still a ton of muffled samples, but they add up to a much more complete song. It's kind of telling that the shorter the song is, the higher the sample rate, but that's the nature of the limitations. What's more interesting is that this technique hasn't died. Check out this song by 10Tricks Point Never titled Sleep Dealer. It makes heavy usage of samples and repetition to create this hazy vibe. It's a beautiful song and a genre that emerged long after the SNES's lifespan. But here's the thing, it can be recreated on the SNES. In fact, the sample you just heard was the SNES recreation. Here's the original. There are differences, but they're subtle to an extent that YouTube's copyright algorithm can't tell them apart. Wyatt ported this song and several others to the SNES in 2020 for his ROM hack, bringing it up to essentially today. That's the entire sample chopping lineage I wanted to show off, but there's a funny fact I can't not mention. Check out the channel playback in Rap Jam. That. Did you see that jump? Yeah. This game uses minimalistic, bar-long samples and still features dynamic sample allocation. The bane. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you'd like to explore some SNES-flavored bossa nova-ish lounge business productivity music, I've just finished two mixes of the stuff, neither of which feature this muffled bossa song. 
Check them out here, subscribe if you like that sort of thing, and I'll see you next mix. Thank you.